Hey YouTube friends, this is part two of my uh, Religious Life series. And of course I have to start from the beginning. As Julie Andrew said, it's a very good place to start. Unfortunately when you're talking about Religious Life, you, you're not really sure where the beginning is. I mean, where do I start? Uh, I suppose my, my earliest form of religious experience uh, happened when we were living in Oakland, California, uh, where I was uh, baptized in the Church of Christ. The problem with that is, of course, that I was, what, seven years old, and I was getting baptized because my older brother was getting baptized, and he was, what, nine? And he was getting baptized because somebody told him to get baptized. In other words, not much of a religious experience. Uh, so, I suppose the best place to start then would be when we were living in Bay Point, California. I was about uh, 11 or 12 years old at this point. And we were attending a church called Shore Acres Baptist Church. And the interesting story is that, uh, but in mind that I went to school with there at Riverview Middle School, his name was Casey Culpepper. He lived two doors down from me. Now, his grandfather was one of the deacons of the church. Uh, his name was Jim Swank, and he was the one that uh, initially invited our, our, my family out to church with them. I actually got saved in what could be described as a special music kind of service. Got a visitor come up from San Diego. He had a big 12-string guitar. He played it, so of course uh, I was interested in that. Uh, so I got saved in, in, and for those of you who have some doubts about my religious experiences, that uh, yeah, it was uh was a christian i was born again christian in the southern baptist church there in bay point california back in 89 i believe it was and i bring this up for a very particular reason of course because if you watch some of my other videos you get the idea that, that i'm some uh anti-theist or anti-religious person that simply well it isn't true I am anti-extremist, I am anti-spiritual abuse. I am anti-spiritual abuse because spiritual abuse can be just as devastating to a, a person's life as, as physical abuse or emotional abuse. So I am a, a big opponent of spiritual abuse and the effect that it has on people. So when I start talking about negative effects of a religion and I start you know, kind of getting mad about it, well that's the reason why. It, it, I don't lump every religious person into that category because well, it wouldn't be fair and it also wouldn't be fair to make these uh, videos about my religious life without talking about the positive experiences that I've had not only would that not be fair it would be disingenuous uh, and it would go against my basic sense of, of self-integrity that I have to talk about negative experience and not talk about positive experiences as well uh, particularly at this point in my life uh, I had two the people that had a very powerful effects on my life, both my spiritual life and, and uh, my school work and all the rest of that. And that is the uh, Murphy family, of course, Fred Murphy and Michael Murphy. Uh, Fred Murphy particularly was the, uh, was the principal of the Christian school that was run there at Shore Acres Baptist Church. Uh, they were also my Taekwondo instructors. And it's interesting to note that Fred and Michael Murphy are still uh, active both in the ministry and uh, active Taekwondo instructors. They are now part of an organization called uh, uh, Black Belts of Faith. And if you go to the website blackbeltoffaith.com and scroll down, hey, there's Fred Murphy's pictures. So, uh, like I said, they they were had a very very powerful positive experience in my life, and I. I actually uh, cherish the time that we've had and, and the experiences that I've had and the positive things that they taught me about my life. And this also informs why I am such a proponent of martial arts instruction for young people, uh, preteens and adolescents, uh, into your teenage years. Because what it, it's not just about you know, okay learning how to fight. That's not what uh, martial arts is about. It's actually about uh, course self-defense but but also discipline 
Uh, it's a sense of achievement, self-advancement, and these sorts of lessons are going to going to stay with the young person through their lives and have a very very positive effect on how they live their lives from that point forward.